Hello, everyone. I was just about to read Griffin here, a little bedtime story. We're reading out of the Spark Story Bible. And the story that we're going to read tonight is called Elijah and the Widow. You ready, G? Okay. Elijah was a prophet. God helped him show and tell others about God. One day God said, Pack your things, Elijah. It's time to move to a new town. I have told a widow there to feed you. I will make a miracle. It was not a good time to move. Rain had not fallen for many days. The sun was hot and the earth was dry. Elijah didn't have any friends in the new town. But he listened to God and went to the new town. When Elijah finally got to the town, he was thirsty. Have you ever been thirsty? No. No. Just then, he spotted a woman. Could this be the widow that God told him about? Excuse me, ma'am. Could you please bring me a drink of water? The kind woman hurried to get the water. Oh. Elijah's tummy growled. He remembered that God had said the widow would feed him. He called after her. I excuse me, ma'am. Could you bring me a nibble of bread to eat? The woman stopped in her tracks. She turned to face Elijah. The widow had sad eyes. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have any bread, she cried. The last of my oil and flour will only make a biscuit. My son and I are going to split it as our last meal. We have no home to eat. She started to cry. Dry your tears, Elijah said. God will make a miracle for you. Bake the bread and share it with me. God promises that your flour and oil will not run out. The widow mixed, kneaded, and baked loaf after loaf of bread. Her jar of flour and jug of oil made plenty of food for Elijah, herself, and her son. God's promise was kept. It was a miracle. Boys and girls, did you hear that? Elijah went to a strange town that he'd never been to before. He was thirsty and hungry. He just happened to see a lady in the street. He asked for something to drink. She went to help him. He asked for something to eat. And when he found out that she didn't have anything, that she was down to her last little bit of what? Oil and flour. Yeah, yeah she only had enough left for how much? for one little biscuit. I don't think one biscuit is enough for two people. It certainly isn't enough for three people, is it? No. But yet she was going to share it with a stranger, someone she'd never met before. Did she know Elijah? Uh -uh. No, they'd never met before. And that was the miracle. She trusted Elijah, she trusted God, and together with their faith, the miracle happened, and there was enough food for everyone. So, that's a pretty remarkable and amazing story. I want you to stop and think about that, and think about the ways that as people in a community, we can take care of each other, and create those little miracles for people who are thirsty and who are hungry, okay? I think it's time for us to get together. We'll see you another time.